As more and more technology starts to come into the vehicle, consumers are really looking at having the same experience they would have with their phone or their computers or other electronics at home and bringing that into the vehicle. So when you get into your vehicle and you have a profile set up on your phone or a website, you just log in and it's there. You can bring that experience with you to a different place. They're starting to expect that same level of seamless integration into the vehicle as well. Having the connectivity in the car makes your driving experience so much more productive, right? Because you might be driving and you want to know what the road conditions are, you want to avoid certain highways because of some accident. And while that's available on the phone right now, if it was in your navigation system, that would make your car experience more seamless. The, the basis of this is we're using a low energy Bluetooth key fob that your profile will be synchronized with. You bring it into the vehicle and it reads it automatically. So when you hit a start stop button, it reads that key fob and downloads your content. Uh, to that vehicle. This is just going to keep increasing in future. The people are demanding this at a very increasing pace. They want it right now in the car and it's just going to get better and bigger. Some of the other technologies that we're utilizing is uh, use of uh, the analytics. So tracking how users interact with their vehicle, what functions they use, how they use it, what features seem to fail as they struggle on screen. So one of the things we did is we created a web portal where the user could actually go in there and, and if they want, they can actually review maybe their, their in-vehicle purchases or actually even purchase additional modules. We can start collecting and seeing how people are utilizing the vehicle, if there's issues going on with the vehicle. And if there are issues going on with the vehicle, we can actually then request additional data, dig deeper, and help diagnose the issues for the users. And then we can also look at the uh, user analytics. We can detect button presses and how people are utilizing the systems. And then some of the other things we can show here is what type of input modality do they use? Is it steering wheel, touchscreen, voice, gesture, or some other function within the vehicle? And how do they use it over time? And, for, and what functions do they actually use it for? So if they use voice for certain features, but not others, is there a reason for that? And help improve that experience. And then kind of here is where we start showing some of the uh, touch events. So if I go through, you'll see some of the, uh, the button presses start to up, uh, play, so we can actually see where people are pressing on the system. So are they pressing near the area or not near the area? Um, do we need to change something? Are they pressing a label and not a button? So did we do something poorly in the uh, layout of the uh, user interface? So we can start analyzing those things to constantly look at improving the customer's user experience. We want to be able to secure to the cloud and secure to the source to make sure the source is valid. So we can uh, safely secure and make sure these downloads are appropriate, that they're legitimate, and that they're safe. So when you do update the vehicle, you don't have a condition on where it doesn't start or you have some kind of uh, bugs or errors. So we're trying to blend all these things into a single concept so that you move into the future seamlessly and securely.